welcome back everyone i hope you're doing amazing i just wanted to share a really quick video about making your body butters less greasy i have gotten so many questions about this and um, how to make your body butter less greasy how much um, product to add to make your body butter less greasy so i'm just going to share what works for me when i make my own body butter um so i hope you find this helpful so let's just jump right in it's going to be super quick um, and if this is your first time stopping by my name is esther and i make diy hair and skincare videos and i sell my handmade products on my website and i also have online formulating courses if you want to check everything out i'll have the links um, in the description box so let's jump right in So just in case you've never heard of a body butter, it is a combination of uh, plant butters like shea butter, cocoa butter and plant oils. Um, they are combined together and melted down and then it's whipped um, either using a hand mixer or a stand mixer to get a lovely fluffy consistency. So that is what a body butter is. Um, it is going to vary in consistency and feel on the skin because there are so many choices for plant butters and oils and everything honestly comes down to preference so some things to consider um, would be the combination of oils and butters that you're using as well as the types of butters and oils that you're using um, so heavier butters heavier oils will ultimately have a heavy greasy feeling on your skin so the final recipe that you're using um, that combination ultimately affects your finished product so if you're using something like coconut oil that is a heavier oil it's a very greasy oil um, but if you're using a lighter oil like sunflower oil jojoba oil those oils are lightweight and they absorb quickly into your skin so that will give you a less greasy body butter product versus using something with coconut oil um, so all those things all tie together and are linked because a lot of the time i get questions like how much of a product should i use of an ingredient should i use how can i make my product less greasy so i'm going to show you what i use when i'm making my body butter products so here are the ingredients i suggest using to reduce the greasy feeling of your body butter you can use arrowroot powder cornstarch or tapioca flour what i use is arrowroot powder that's what i use for all my body butter products how do i use this when i've whipped my body butter and i've gotten the consistency that i like then i'll add in uh, my arrowroot powder i'll add it bit by bit uh, because it has a tendency to want to fly all over the place so just add it bit by bit and i whip it on low until everything is well combined into my body butter mixture so i always use arrowroot powder i would say if you don't have arrowroot powder you can use cornstarch um, cornstarch is the closest that i've seen to the arrowroot powder um, so once i've gotten everything well mixed well combined um, then I'll you know pipe my body butter into my containers if you're using fragrance or essential oils you can add that after you've added your arrowroot powder so that's what I do that's what works for me so how much arrowroot powder should you add um, it's honestly going to vary um, but for me I recommend trying it out in the one to five percent range um, you can start by adding um, your arrowroot in one percent increments to your body butter mixture and you just have to test you have to do your batch testing i've done so many batch tests <laughs> in my body butter formulas until i found the percentage that worked for me so i recommend like i said sticking to the one to five percent range to start 
and then just start adding in 1% increment. So make your body butter, maybe start out adding 1% or 2%. If you don't like it or you feel it's still too greasy, then just add another 1% until you get the results that you like so that would be my recommendation because it is hard for me to tell you add arrowroot at three percent or four percent because i don't know what your body butter combination is and you have to honestly batch test that's the best way to um, end up with a product finished product that you like <music> the last thing i suggest you check out is the comedogenic scale um, the comedogenic scale is extremely helpful um, in understanding the uh, plant butters and oils how likely they are to clog your skin your pores so when you're formulating your body butter products um, understanding this scale is extremely helpful in choosing the right oils and butters um, for your formula so i'll have this linked in the description box if you want to check that website out it's very helpful um, but i hope you found this video helpful useful i've gotten so many questions about um, this um, topic this body butter greasy feeling on your skin so i decided to make a quick video um, because i know when i started making body butter products it was very confusing for me trying to figure out what to add what to use to reduce the greasy feeling so i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you've not and please don't forget to turn on your notifications so that way you don't miss any new videos that i upload and also please don't forget to like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye